Coming up on HTV News, our JROTC Raiders team did an outstanding job at their competition. Also, Jake is back with another movie review. All of this and more on HTV News. Hello, today is May 8th, 2019. I'm Leela Castro. And I'm Jake Fisher. Welcome to HTV News. Seniors, if you have received a scholarship and would like to be announced at the Senior Honors Convocation, seems new well to fill out the form. The deadline is May 14th, and extra forms are in guidance. NHS will be sponsoring a book drive this week. Please bring in your used or new books to the bin in front of the Media Center. Books will be donated to the local hospitals and doctor's offices for sick patients to enjoy. Writers Club will meet today after school in the Media Center. All are welcome. Seniors, the date to turn in your Six Flags trip money has been changed to today. You must be passing all required classes and have no discipline problems in order to attend. See Mrs. Nelson or Mrs. Roach with questions. Now over to Jake for his movie review on Avengers Endgame. Hello, Hobart High School. I am Jake Long, and today I will be reviewing the massive climax to the bigger part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Avengers Endgame. Now, as you all know, the movie is still in theaters. This is a spoiler-free review, and I heavily recommend that you go see the movie for yourselves. Now, the plot goes as follows. Adrift in space with no food or water, Tony Stark sends a message to Pepper Potts as his oxygen supply starts to dwindle. Meanwhile, the remaining Avengers, Thor, Black Widow, Captain America, and Bruce Banner, must figure out a way to bring back their vanquished allies for an epic showdown with Thanos, the evil demigod who decimated the planet and the universe. Throughout my brief time in this life of movie watching, I've seen so many franchises crash and burn. It's inevitable, but not this time. For fans of the MCU, Avengers Endgame is an outstanding ending to the largest story arc ever committed to cinema. Clocking in at a massive three hours and two minutes, Endgame seemingly leaves no, pl no previous plotline unconcluded, no question unanswered, and no Infinity Stone unturned. A motion picture epic filled with moments that will make you laugh and cry, mixing a sly sense of humor and a healthy dose of self-parody with exhilarating pacing and grand visual effects. Endgame shows us once again that Marvel's the brand to reach for when a viewer wants to see the human behind the superhero. The one big issue about Avengers Infinity War, the first installment of this two-parter, is that it had so many characters to juggle that there wasn't a lot of time for characterization. However, now the cast is narrowed down to mostly the original Avengers. Now we return to the characterization that made so many of the previous films great. Here we find the heroes at their lowest and trying to write things, what proceeds as a great character piece. We see the conclusion to some of the stories of the people we've gotten to know after all these years. The finale is the most I've ever been emotionally influenced by a film. It's the first 10 out of 10 from me. Thanks, Jake. Please help out the Joan Martin kids who are getting, tre are getting treatment at Riley Children's Hospital. One dollar paper hearts for the sale in the workroom and Miss Palazzotta room. Please put your name on the heart and support these children. Now over to Aaron Anthony for HHS Sports Highlights. On Monday, it was senior night for a baseball team and they stayed home playing Kankakee Valley, sadly losing a close game of 4-2. Our softball team traveled on the road to take on Munster and lost as well. On Tuesday, our baseball team played Kankakee Valley again, but this time winning an effortless game of 15-8. The NCC Championship for Boys and Girls Track and Field was also on Tuesday, and, the, and our girls, took, girls team took fourth with a score of 75.5, and our boys team took fifth with scoring 87 points. And today, our softball team will be defending home against Lowell at 5 p.m. On Thursday, our baseball team will be heading out to Wheeler and will be taking them on at 5 p.m. Our softball team will be staying home to take on Adrian at 4.30. And on Friday, there will be a girls and boys NCC JV meet at Lowell at 5 p.m. And our baseball team will be at home playing against Crown Point at 5. Now back over to Leela. Thanks, Aaron and Anthony. HHS will host the 5th Annual Nancy Snyder Blood Drive on May 15th. If you are 16 and older, you can sign up during lunches or through your grade level Canvas classes. See Mrs. Parrish with any questions. Our JROTC Raiders team did a great job at their competition. Here's a video highlighting their hard work.
Make sure to like and subscribe to the Hobart High School radio and TV channel. And, and remember, remember, only the best, best for HHS, HHS and have a fantastic, fantastic week, week everyone. everyone.